Hello everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot. And this is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Energies in and around the Scorpio Collective for the month of December. I apologize for my throat issues, for my voice issues. I've been doing everything I can to regain my voice. And I'm still having major, major issues. So please do... Bear with me as we get through this reading for you, Scorpio. Keep in mind, timing and energy is fluid. Not every reading is going to be for you. So please do only take the messages that resonate and leave behind the rest. Also keep in mind, roles can be reversed. I could be speaking directly to you, Scorpio, or I could be speaking directly to a cross-watcher. And don't forget to cross-watch any signs that you may be dealing with where you are seeking some answers. If you have not already, do feel free to hit that subscribe button to join the channel. And let's jump right in, Scorpio, and see what kind of a message needs to come through for you for the month of December. Get ready for a relationship paradigm. I do think maybe it's time for you to close out a relationship and to step into some self-care, some self-nourishment, in order to find your true soul tribe. Bottom of the deck, empowerment. So maybe it's time for you to take total ownership and accountability for some past behaviors, for some past mistakes. It is in taking ownership that you can execute reaching your highest potential. So even the smallest step forward, Scorpio, is going to be a leap in the right direction. I think maybe you've been in a relationship that you're needing to release. I think you need to figure out what speaks to your soul because it is about building solid, close relationships. It is about seeking friendships <clears throat> and romantic partnerships who will contribute to your soul's growth, not deplete you and keep you stagnant. I do think you need to pay attention to your dreams. You'll likely have a telepathic connection here you and another are connected in the spiritual realm, Scorpio, and you likely are transmitting each other's thoughts and emotions. So pay attention to your dreams because there are messages that spirit is conveying to you in dream space through telepathy. <clears throat> I think divine time is at play in the month of December and the universe is telling you it's time to go in a new direction. You're ready. You are going to be facing a challenge. Um, Pisces just got this, so could be dealing with the Pisces. And I think get ready to face a challenge, bottom line, to improve your life. You are going to be tested because it is about taking ownership, accountability, and you're definitely going to need to nourish your body, your mind, and your soul. And to remember that you are sacred, on a sacred journey. So only feed yourself positive energy, healthy thoughts, healthy foods, healthy choices so we will see what else needs to come through for you with the crystal medicine deck what else does scorpio need to be aware of going through an initiation a deep spiritual cleansing in the month of december this is an inner journey embracing your inner wisdom get connected with mother gaia because you are going through a spiritual initiation a spiritual cleansing a, de a detox this is a sacred journey, and I think you are going to need to retreat because it is a journey of self. You might be dealing with a cancer. You might need to retreat after facing this challenge, and I do feel this is about setting that intention for soul retrieval. Where are you needing to set those pure intentions and to take back control of your life, Scorpio? Because it is about sacred ceremony. It is about honoring your truth, empowering yourself, and without a doubt, learning a major karmic lesson. I do think you're in a karmic relationship, and the two of you have likely incarnated this life in order to go through some negative experiences to resolve some past life karma that is needing to be addressed. So you are encouraged to work through this painful life lesson and to turn it into an opportunity for growth and for self-development, to embrace your inner wisdom. So we will see what else needs to come through for you, Scorpio, with the Psychic Tarot. What else does Scorpio need to be aware of? 
I think you're about to see light at the end of the tunnel. <clears throat> and there's that throat chakra. Speak your truth. I think you, you need to stop holding back. It's time to take ownership and to speak your truth because you are without a doubt closing a major worldly cycle, a life cycle that is repeated throughout many lifetimes. There is about to be an unavoidable tower. There is going to be a breakdown of a karmic relationship because there's no more harmony. There's no more growth and we get the light in reverse. So you are going through a very dark period in the month of December and divine time is now to embrace this breakdown, whether it be an emotional breakdown, a physical breakdown, or just a breakdown of a false relationship. But wherever you're at, there's no more harmony. And I think it's time to shed light on these negative vices in order to step into this next leg of your journey, to close out a cycle, to speak your truth, because the fates are stepping in and bringing something into your awareness that is needing to be addressed when it comes to some past poor choices. And the time is now to make things right, to do what is right. So we will see what is being evaluated with the wisdom of the Oracle deck, Scorpio. <clears throat> what is being evaluated in the month of December? Why? Why? Why am I here again? Why didn't I learn this lesson the first time around? I think you are in between worlds. You're really in a dark place kind of wanting to go in a new direction and it's time to take that first step. It's time to understand why you're going into an abandonment wound and I think you've attracted this lesson because you don't know your worth and you don't know your value and there is a need to mother yourself. There is a need to understand this karmic lesson in its full entirety and to be accountable, to take ownership because we always are where we are at for our own choices. Nobody else is to blame, Scorpio. So I do feel uh, maybe you are getting abandoned or leaving somebody out in the cold in the month of December and there is a need to understand why. Why you have kept repeating this negative pattern and why you have not learned the lesson because lessons are about to be learned and I think this is going to be painful as you release something not meant for you that you have been gripping to control with. It's time to release this and find your true tribe. We'll see what needs to come through with the tarot, Scorpio. Karmic cycles. Yeah, 29 is, is the ending of a karmic cycle. That initiation is a 16, which is also tower energy. So it is time to retreat. Kind of take a step back and nourish yourself. Because this is about unconditional love. This is about knowing your worth, knowing your value. You could be dealing with the Taurus or a Libra. But the Empress is the epitome of unconditional love. She is the mother of all mothers. She gives without conditions. She is very, very abundant at this time. And I feel there is going to be a huge tower and unexpected change stemming around a new beginning. Yeah, because I think you don't know your worth. You don't know your value. And it's time to learn this lesson. Because where you're at, it's stale, it's stagnant, you're at a stalemate, you're stuck, you've been depleted, and it's time to recognize where things have not been equal. You're, you're definitely at the crossroads. I think you've been ignoring the signs, you've been allowing yourself to stay stuck, and I think it's time to go in a new direction. Maybe there's an apology that is needing to be made when it comes to this ownership and accountability. I think, yeah, there is going to be a brand new start, a brand new spark, a brand new adventure. And there's been a lack of decision. There's been a lot of chronic indecision about going in a new direction. I think fear of holding on to something for financial stability. The Queen of Pentacles, she doesn't work. She isn't grounded. She isn't stable. She clings to control for financial stability. And I think there's been a lot of juggling a lot of blocking and I think with two 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 crossroads decision partnerships the time is now to withdraw from a situation somebody here is about to withdraw um, because they want to swiftly go back to a missed opportunity I feel from the past likely with this Empress leaving this Queen of Pentacles out in the cold because there's a lot of love here 
and I think you might be dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and he's denied this truth on his heart for quite some time, and justice is about to be served. There is going to be a major karmic rebalancing, a swift turn of events, a lot of challenges ahead. Maybe get ready for an argument as somebody returns to the past to, to somebody that I feel they walked away from. Their secret's about to be revealed. What was hidden is about to come to light when it comes to this masculine energy is kind of what I'm feeling. Could be dealing with a Libra or another Pisces, um, another water sign. But with that 222 two, two, decision time is now and the central energy with the two of wands reverses get ready to get the rug pulled out from under you because you can't keep juggling this towers coming in hat heavy hard and fast because you can't stay stuck anymore what is this empress about five of pentacles ace of swords reversed page of swords yeah this empress was left out in the cold in the past ghosted orphaned and abandoned and I feel there was lies here there was secrets here surrounding another feminine energy that manipulated a situation and there's about to be somebody cutting through the fog cutting through the lies cutting through the confusion because somebody here needs to take ownership for this manipulation somebody needs to take ownership for the pain that was caused to this Empress energy she likely has children involved in this situation with the page and I think the time is now to cut to the chase, to cut through the illusion, because I think clarity is coming around a soulmate union. And there's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of arguing. And the time is now to bring this full circle. What is this Queen of Pentacles reversed? Queen of Wands reversed. The Lovers reversed. Six of Swords. Yep. Leaving this karmic feminine in the dust. I feel there is a contract coming to a close. Another confirmation of no harmony here. Queen of Wands reversed is jealous, possessive, controlling, vindictive, and somebody is getting ready to leave this karmic feminine energy behind. I do feel a masculine that is moving, moving helms because there's no balance in his life and he wants his true love. He wants his soulmate back in his life. There's going to be a lot of communication if you are this empress Queen of Cups energy. So what is this? Um, two, two of Wands reversed, please. Eight of Pentacles reversed. The death, judgment. Yeah, it's time to face this. It's time to take ownership. There's a negative repetitive pattern here stemming around childhood wounds and past life karma. And maybe there's going to be a job loss in the energy. The Queen of Pentacles reverse doesn't have anything to offer. She doesn't have money. She doesn't contribute. Somebody made a very poor judgment call. We got your energy, Scorpio. So the time is now to embrace this profound change. Something's coming back around to be dealt with in order to take accountability. It's time to make that final judgment call. I feel an awakening moment and there's been resistance to this transformation. It's time to shed in shed the old to bring in the new. It's time for this profound life change. It is time for truth, authenticity, and for a masculine to utilize his discernment and to make a head over heart decision to use his logic because there is a foundation crumbling. There's no financial stability there. I think it's taking somebody all the strength they can to walk away. What is this Knight of Cups? Wanting to work together, an apology. Coming back around, I do feel somebody's been manipulated into a connection and um, the crossroads is there. This magician's at the crossroads. There is, a, there is a, a broken commitment here. I think there's been a lack of honoring intuition as well. Um, this empress could have a direct connection to God. Maybe she's been, you know, sending somebody these messages, getting them to see the light. And there is going to be an apology. Somebody wants to work together again after maybe manipulating um, this empress in the past or walking away from what could have led to a solid committed partnership and to bring healing into a situation. I feel somebody here fears that there won't be victory and there won't be success because of how badly they hurt this empress. But we will see what this two of pentacles, two of swords is about. Hanged man, queen of swords, the world. There we got it. 
major cycles closing out, major karmic lessons being learned. There is going to be a huge shift in consciousness, expanded consciousness, a shift in perceptions when it comes to truth, boundaries, honoring your truth, finding your authentic voice, and closing out a major cycle. Could be dealing with a, a Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or any of the fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo. There's been somebody all trapped up in an old mindset, a toxic situation is being haunted by spirit because there is no balance. Somebody here broke this empress's heart very badly. There was not reciprocation in the past. And I feel there's a masculine going through a major heart awakening when it comes to this empress energy, learning this lesson about authenticity, accountability, and ownership. And I think emotions are going to be triggered in the month of December in order for you to face this challenge and to figure out what really speaks to your soul and your heart. Because somebody here, I think, in the past feared um, losing their independence. And there's a lot of memories here. There's about to be a reconciliation, I feel, within a soulmate connection. And I think it is going to trigger a fight. It is going to be a battle to break to break free from a toxic connection. All right, Scorpio, let's see what else needs to come through for you with the romance angels. What else does Scorpio need to be aware of, please? Children, without a doubt, have been involved and have been affected. And I think healing needs to be um, brought into a situation. You might want to keep an open mind. Maybe your soulmate completely differs from what it is that you've been connected to. Maybe it's time to bring healing into a family structure that was walked away from stemming around children. I do think a masculine here is getting ready to extend some lighthearted energy and to make the effort to bring balance into a soulmate connection because great love truly is taking the guided steps that you are asked to take. And I think maybe it's time to release these addictions and these codependencies in order to restore a sense of balance in your life, Scorpio. But we will see what else needs to come through with the love oracle deck. What else does Scorpio need to be aware of? You're dealing with a snake. You're dealing with a snake, Scorpio. And I think um, there's been a lot of competition. You're dealing with a friend disguised as an enemy or a lover that truly is an, an enemy. You've got a very malicious and clever karmic feminine energy working against you. And you do need to look over your shoulder, Scorpio, because there's going to be a sudden change, a shocking epiphany, surprise and shocking news. You're going to have upheaval, and it's time for this transformation, Scorpio. You can no longer avoid this because somebody here is absolutely frustrated in, in a narcissistic empath paradigm relationship, and it's created a lack of confidence. You've been self-sabotaging out of fear-based energies. There is a lot of jealousy here, and it's time to bring this into your awareness to take a good, long, hard look in the mirror. It's time for you to look at yourself and to really see the truth of this situation, Scorpio. I do feel you're in a toxic relationship that was meant to reflect some core wounds in order for you to embrace this inner wisdom, this deep introspection, and to restore a sense of positive self-image. So I think there is a lot of nostalgia. There is a masculine here missing somebody from the past, wanting to come forward for a brand new beginning and to make some new memories. And I do think somebody here has been seduced by negative karmic attachment. And I think it was like a, a hookup, which turned into a, a major third party interference. Somebody fell for temptation, somebody fell for a snake. And I feel it is time to bring balance back into your life. You very well could be in a twin flame relationship that's been in separation. And I feel there's deep, deep grieving and sadness here. Somebody is missing their true love, Scorpio. Somebody is thinking about this empress day in and day out. And they are yearning for love in their life. And although there is unsurety about the future, this is about balance. This is about your yin to your yang. This is about honoring your inner duality and coupling with somebody who will absolutely complement you. There is a deep spiritual union coming into focus 
that I feel has been in separation for at least a couple of years. And there is, without a doubt, insane chemistry between these two. They equally love each other. And it's time to cut these negative attachments to empower your life. Because I think a masculine's ready to put himself back out there. So get ready for an invitation or somebody to ask you out on a date. Because somebody wants to fall in love all over again, Scorpio. We'll see what else needs to come through for you with the Crystal Stone deck. What else does Scorpio need to be aware of? Grow from your heart. Grow from the inside out. It's time to heal your inner child, Scorpio. It's time to hold your own heart and to give love to yourself, I feel. I do feel this karmic feminine energy was very seducing, very mesmerizing. Put the veil over somebody's eyes. And somebody's about to release that person because they've caused a lot of pain and children have been involved. And I think it's time to offer forgiveness, to break free, and to honor your truth. Stop being a doormat. I think it's about stepping into evolution. Maybe you felt like giving up on love. Somebody here has wanted to give up on love. And spirit saying, keep going because it's time for you to embrace your highest self, your highest awareness to release any addictions and codependencies. I do feel somebody here has been getting drunk to mask their pain, and it's time to give up this never onslaught of this victim routine and to start living with purpose. Get out of your head and get into your heart because there's a lot of love here, and it's time to climb this mountain, to face this challenge, and to release all of this discontentment because you've been stuck and it's time for you to live in the moment. I do feel the energy is pointing you towards your true heart's desire, Scorpio. And I think it's time for you to release any hesitation, to open up your heart to spirit, and to rewrite your destiny. The time is now, Scorpio. And that's what I have for a message for you for December. I hope this resonated. If it did, and you would like to book a personal reading, please feel free to check out the description box below. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.